What's up, everybody? I'm Rick. And I'm Anna. And welcome to our reaction to Afro Samurai episode 5. The last one. The last episode, Anna. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm uh, kind of hitching to see what happens. Yeah, how me this too. All ends. Uh, this. The conclusion. Quick but really intense journey. So, let's watch. Oh. I know how you feel, baby. Lots of your peeps died. Might not be real, but it's been with him hey, this whole time. Yeah. Me now. But it's also you know, symbolic. Mm. Right? He's cutting down this, like, whatever this is, separate part of his consciousness. If you think about what that would symbolize, is that in it, it disappearing, he is like reuniting with back his emotions, mm. right? Because he's not an actual person, right? So I think that's what this symbolizes here. Don't forget your goal. If your opponent's dual sorted, you got to make twice as many moves in order to win. The force of the blow is twice as powerful for the double-handed grip. <laughs> Okay, if you say yeah, so. he's been holding it with one hand the whole time. Yeah, that's true. I guess this is goodbye. Now you truly oh, are alone man, here. It was the bomb hanging out with you, Afro Samurai. But also like that, you know, blowing like that towards him. It it is like you said, like it's like he's taking it all back in. Taking his sword out. Is he gonna do it, really? See you in hell. This is an intense fight. Because I think you know another interpretation. We'll see how it goes. Would be that the conscience is gone, and now there's nothing stopping me from fighting mm. my friend, even you know, because yeah, he wasn't fighting. That's true. Wonderful, Kuma. Wonderful. You are my greatest creation. Your anger has increased your power beyond the abilities of the Afro Samurai. They really took over that mountain, huh? Uh -huh. Defeat our hated enemy. Tear the number two warrior limb from limb. Terrible. Uh, they found him. Mm. Wow. Severe injuries to the neck. And the back of the head, and oh, this this deep gouged cut on the ribs is quite. Oh. It's creepy. Yeah. We got deep lacerations. We shall dart Vader mm -hmm. here. Badly broken bones from falling off a cliff. And look at his limbs. They found the girl too. Degree of damage there, use. But I sense his rage, his grief. Should we not just let him die, brother? No, why let him die when you yeah. can make him a cyborg? Oh my god. Oh, that looks horrible as yeah. hell. Uh, did you at least, at least use anesthesia? No. It went in raw. Ugh. Afro hasn't swung his sword once yet. Yeah. Oh wow. It was like Frankenstein's monster. Oh. Shocked by what he did. Oh, he went back. Yeah, did Afro at least bury them? I guess not, because they took the girl too, you know? Yeah, he would have seen that she's alive. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Wait wow. at the main oh. gate of Mount Shumi. Also, he's just been there waiting. He, that's all he does. Yeah. I guess he didn't do that much for the organization. I guess. Oh. He doesn't know that she yeah, survived. Yeah, that she survived. And the organization killed her. But I mean, is it really that different? Is there even a de defense? She ended up in their hands because <laughs> of him, so... She just died be because of him years later. So kill me or die, there's no going back! That is true. No, he can still go back, but uh, he's fighting to end. Now he's serious. Oh! <laughs> I guess no going back. Yeah. Forward. That's crazy. And he thought about them too. You know, normally you think, oh, that's when he has this change of mind. Yeah. But like, no. Hmm. I guess there is no going back. I guess, you know, there's a story we're watching, you know. We yeah. look at him and we keep thinking like, oh, this is when... when is he gonna flip? When is he gonna... Yeah, but like, no, that's not... Probably that's not what we're looking at here. That's not that character. Hmm. He's crying. crying. Impossible. So this is it, huh? The faithful meeting. You know, how old is he now? When they said he would be a god, uh... oh, kid. I got tired of waiting, so I was just thinking of calling and leaving you a voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I've watched you. Yeah, when they said you become a god, I thought it was more like figuratively, you know. Yeah, like, like you're yeah. the strongest. Uh -huh. But like, no, it seems like it's quite literal. Mm. He couldn't handle all the blood on his hands from the constant headband wars. He actually wanted to just hide the number one band, conceal that legend from the world. But all he did was stir up a hornet's nest of lust for power. Oh, interesting. Oh, he's absorbing the blood. That absolute power leads to ultimate peace. Power ain't nothing if you don't use it. I call it a sin not to rule the world if you've been blessed with the strength. Well, what have you been doing? <laughs> yeah, right. Just sitting there it waiting. Seems like you've been just waiting there. Yeah. It's time for a man to rid the world of conflict. And allow all men and women, young and old, to live in tranquility. And who's that man? You? Yeah. For man to become God, where God has failed. First, I took the head of the most powerful samurai in the world. A man feared and respected for his sublime skills. Your daddy. Obtaining the number one headband. Just ain't enough, boy. Destiny. Designed me to possess all the headbands. Oh, he wants both? Mm. You don't gotta just have the one. You gotta have them all. Then and only then, oh, all the power more. be bestowed from a mystery beyond human understanding. I guess that makes sense. Like, there would be. Yeah, like a. A hierarchy, and then it's not just to go after one, right? It would have been. But. I see what he's saying, so people have been fighting over number two, which makes it more chaotic. Because people are just fighting yeah, yeah. randomly. Rather, before it was a, a hierarchy. Oh, you so only that's what fight he means the one above you. Bringing peace. Yeah. He has to kill Afro and get the number two also. Yeah, exactly. Is it that, or does it mean literally that, like, he who has all the headbands is given more power. I like your pappy. 
Oh, oh. 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 That's how he... That's what he's... That's, yeah, that's how he fought his father. Yeah. What he saw back he then. He saw, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. He did it! <laughs> he did! I guess, you know, it wasn't about skills. He had the skills to achieve this from episode one. You know? The... Challenges were more personal, right? Like with Tokiku, uh, Oturu, mm. and then with his friend. Right. The robot literally facing himself, you know? Yeah. But it's not about him getting stronger to be able to right. defeat Nobu. It's about, it's more about like fighting his the demons. Pa the part, yeah, exactly. The path that he has to follow, like mm. the things that he has to do to get there. Is that it? It's still attached a little bit. I don't trust this thing. Oh. <laughs> Is that it? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Should have had a clean cut. Right. Oh! Oh! <sighs> yeah, no, he killed the, the one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's the afro. Just is here. <laughs> Two hand. Yeah. Got him in half. I've got a bit more. Yeah. You know, just just keep sure. going. Yeah. Make sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like this. <laughs> now he has all the events. This is interesting. Hair is white like a... Mm. Hmm. Time passes many years later. The music is so good. This is natural for the little afro. He has them all wrapped. And when I lay you down, you ain't never getting up. I'm few with my father, he's a side. Oh, it's uh, his friend who has them all wrapped. He has a number two. It's been a long time. A Afro Samurai. It never ends, huh? Die again, my friend. Let's do this. Oh. That's how it ends? Yeah. And so. Oh, okay. The never ending battle continues. Never ends. That is a gloomy ending. Yeah. <laughs> It never ends, I it guess. It never ends. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm not sure how his friend survived, but like he was Darth Vader anyway. So yeah. by then, yeah, I'm not going to ask questions. I mean, you know, there's lots of things that happen in this world that mm. you just don't question. They just happen. Yeah. And the scientist was still uh, there, yeah. alive and well. He could have just you know, taken him again and like, okay, let's make some more updates. Right. Mm. So yeah, after all of that, he got his revenge. Yes, but I I feel like that's not the point, you know, because like he got his revenge at what cost, you know, to then just like wait there for someone else to take his revenge on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's the cycle. Yeah. Never ending cycle. And he was saying yeah. like, even if you try to hide it, like his dad tried to hide the number right. one headband, 
the killing continues, right? Yeah. People still want it. Like it doesn't doesn't matter. I guess you could do something like he did, which he accumulated all the other ones. So no one was fighting for number three, number four, number eight, right. etc. Like I think there must be like ten. Uh, but I don't know. The knowledge of it would still make people right. The knowledge of number one, right? Even if the lower ones are gone. You would still think number two and number one are somewhere out there. You're gonna start killing random people. Yeah, but yeah, but then you know, if you get all of them, then that stops. No, but that's what I'm saying. Just like when he's oh, dead, try like... to hide it. Yeah, but it doesn't oh, right, matter I see what that you mean. they're not there. People. But at least them. when he's when he's dead, was just trying to hide number one. The other handbags were still out there. Mm. So people were killing each other, hoping to find the number one. Even if they never did until this guy, but then if all the headbands are gone, it's only a matter of time until it remains legend. Yeah, but how long though? Especially when they know for sure these headbands existed, you know. Well, yeah, but like, like I said, I think it's only a matter of time before people like you know a, gener a few generations later. Mm. It's like oh, there was a legend about this and that. Even at the beginning, in the first episode, he walks into that. Uh, that um, pub place whatever and the woman there says there's a legend around here like it's already a little bit of yeah because there's only him with a headband left right? yeah still you just sit there and wait until the killing stops you don't know mm -hmm. if it will yeah and then someone much like this guy right our friend with the guns who's you know, adventurous enough will find you, you know? mm. But like, I guess they can't challenge you. Yeah, but okay. But like, I I want to talk a little bit more about the. I I really love the fact that you feel like from the beginning is the story of this kid seeking revenge for his father, when really, like you said, actually in the from the first episode, he already had the skills to challenge the mm -hmm. god. Mm -hmm. That, and I feel now that I finish it that this is not what what this has been about. It's been about him creating his future opponent. It's so understanding that he is on the same path, right? That, yeah. The path that brought him here. He's right. repeating for someone else. Right. Like we're saying, here they may could be his friend, right? Uh, who's coming after him. But there's a number of other people who I'm sure hate him. Right. Because, again, how many people did he, kids did he orphan? Yeah. You know. Especially because he was ruthless out there. Right. You know? As we saw. Yeah. Like, his conscience would tell him, like, do you need to kill all these people? Like, people would challenge him and he, no hesitation, you're dead. Right. All dead. He doesn't need to kill them. Right. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Only five episodes in and up. There is, however, her movie. We might get to that, uh... At some point. What more could there be uh, said about this story, though? Mm. I feel like you don't need to know more than this, you know? It being so short, you don't really get into, like, the philosophical debates. And you, you only get enough to understand. Mm -hmm. You get enough to get you, you know, to start talking. Yeah. But you don't need more than that, you know? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay, well. Well, that was it. That was Afro Samurai. Yeah. It feels good to finish something, you know, like well, we started it, yeah. we finished it uh, pretty quickly. Yeah. And uh, on to, you know, new adventures, mm -hmm. new animes, uh, and new stuff. If you want to see all of those, you know, stay right here on this channel. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, thank you for liking it. And have a, have nice, a nice day. day.